What's going on today, guys? Thanks for joining me on this one. Now, I know the last few videos on this trailer, it seems like we've just been doing one more thing. And, well, let me tell you, we have another one more thing before we get these sides pulled off. You know, just you keep looking at it and you keep seeing things to do. So, some things we've gotten done off camera just to get them done is we've got holes drilled for the tail lights. So the, the wires will run through this hole and those are the mounting holes on both sides. Got those right. We readjusted the tailgate hinges uh, because this side has moved uh, more inward since we mounted it. So we got those adjusted. And now the one more thing this time is getting this gap right here filled in. So it looks nicer, cleaner, and we don't you know, have any sight in to the bracket or the uh, the ends of the wood. So that's on the plan for today. That's our last one more thing before these sides come off and do the finishing body work on them. But before we get started, go down, hit that subscribe button, support the channel, and be notified when any new videos come up. So appreciate you doing that. Thanks for the support. Let's get started. I'm down at the back here, and I went ahead and got a little piece cut out Probably a little bit too tall, um, but you take a look, and this is kind of hard to reach just because of everything. You can see how wide it is, so it's about an inch overlap. Um, so with this, still have a tiny gap on the side, but I think when that's all painted, it'll match the other side and it'll look really good. So I got this trimmed out. This I cut at six and a half inches tall. And so this is probably about two, two and a half inches wide. And I think it'll cover that gap up really nice. And my plan is that I'm gonna take and I'm gonna tack weld these on the inside of this piece here. And so it'll just sit behind it. Then I'll take and put another piece at the top and I'll make that one probably two, two and a half inches wide as well and run it all the way across the top. Then I'll just weld these gaps, the joints where they come together at on both sides. And once we have that ground down and everything, I think it'll still look pretty good. Uh, with those welds ground down, you shouldn't be able to notice the, the joining of them. And especially with it painted, I'm gonna use this chassis paint again. It is some thick stuff and it does help cover up and fill in any kind of small gaps that uh, may still be there, but I think it'll look great. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the other side cut and get that ready and then start working on this top piece. Now on this top piece, the material I have isn't long enough to run this whole span. So I'm gonna have to cut two pieces and weld it in the middle, grind it down. Shouldn't be any issues. Should be able to get it looking uh, like a single piece that way. But that's the plan. I'm going to throw it on time lapse and we'll get to work.
So I got it fit in there now and it is a little tight. So as you can see, I can stick my finger down in here. Um, it's got, since it's tight, it's got a little bit of flex in the middle of it. But I think if I just take a little, little trim of the edge, it should fit up in here pretty nicely. And then I have these side pieces. So what I'm gonna do is probably just take and um, cut these side pieces off right at this uh, edge right here and weld these together so I can grind that down. You can see I got it welded there. I grind that down and then do the same thing on this piece to get it all fit up nicely. So it'll just take a little bit of back and forth probably. Um, and I'll probably be having to pull the tailgate on and off a little bit just to get this piece in here because it was a little bit difficult with the tailgate on. I did have to take off that side. Uh, but just kind of have to go back and forth at it and just fine tune it, getting it fit just the way I want it. But so far so good. I've got these two pieces tacked together on both sides so that this won't move and it'll be in the same spot. So now I'm just gonna pull the tailgate off here and pull this out get this line right here scored and get them pulled apart and cut off so then we can get them right back together Got this piece all ground down now. I think it looks good. The paint will cover these up really nice. You'll never be able to tell. So now that I got this, I'm just gonna throw it back in there. See how it looks, throw the tailgate on.
All right, there we go. I think that looks good. Really good. So we got just enough room on this side under the tailgate and everything for it to move. Now what I'll just do is just take and on the inside of this, go ahead and tack this down on the sides uh, just to hold it in place because this is exactly where it needs to be with the bed sides on. And because I mean that that edge fit is really nice. Um, then once we get everything off, then we can take and you know finish the tack welds uh, along the whole thing. So this is held exactly where it needs to be. Um, then we just need to paint it black and it'll be perfect. So there we go. That's done. And I just got both of these sides tacked down. So that's not going anywhere. You can see I'm pushing on, it's not moving. Both of them tacked down just on these edges. We'll get to this top bit once we get the bed out, but I'm happy with how it looks. Looks really good. And that's all that we're gonna do in this one. It's gonna be a short video, but it's just that one more thing that we need to get done and that needed to get done before we got everything apart. Um, so this, you know, we needed these bedsides to not be painted when we're getting that fixed and we needed them on in order to get it right. So we got it, we got it right, looks good. So on the next one, we will be starting to pull this apart. Um, so the first thing on that, we'll be getting the bedside off, or not the bedside, the boards out. And my battery died in the middle of that. But once we get these boards out, then that'll give us access to the backside of the piece we just put in. That way we can get this top bit secured as we need it to. And then the rest of this stuff can come off. Um, because that'll that'll be the last thing that needs to be done with the bedsides on. So we'll, so we'll pull the wood and we'll leave the bedsides on when we're tacking it. Just just so nothing can move. It's where it needs to be. Uh, just to play it safe that way. Uh, then we can start taking the fenders off. Get the bedsides off. Uh, front out. And we can start doing some Bondo on all this stuff. Uh, so that'll be exciting. That'll be a lot of work uh, doing that. Just getting, you know, all these transitions on the patches and everything. Uh, just making that look nice. It'll be a lot of work, um, both getting that on and sanding it all down, but it'll be worth it in the end. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I know it's a shorter video, but we are moving along. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video because you don't wanna miss what's going on with this trailer. I tell you that. Uh, if you would like the video, that helps us out. I appreciate it. And thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a great Christmas. Uh, I know it's coming up fast. Uh, so until then, I'll see you.